Many people talk about Villa Lobos, other concertos for piano, for harp and everything, as being problematic. You as a guitarist, do you find his guitar concerto problematic? And if so, in what sense? Well, I, uh, first of all, it's, it's an, it's, I've never played it before. It's the first time that I actually performed. I, I learned it when I was young, but I never performed it in public until now. And I think it's, it's uh, I am really happy. And, Honor that the first time will be actually in Brazil, you know. So uh, it just seems like an, it seems like the perfect place to do it. Um, so I don't have that much experience with it, really. You know, I uh, I'm learning it now. I mean, experience in the sense of how the piece works. I've always heard there were problems with balance, and, and, and especially in the third movement, and that's what I'm finding out. So, but other than that, you know, uh, I'm not I'm not really seeing. Uh, there's some notes here and there that are questionable in the score. And I'm finding out that he was maybe careless in some, in some of his ways. And, and, uh, and some positions that are you know, awkward to play, but, but I think it's a beautiful piece. Uh, it's said that the cadenza was added to the concerto after it was finished. All his five piano concertos have long cadenzas that you can play as independent pieces. How do you see the cadenza in this particular concerto? That's such a long one, substantial one. I think it's very effective. You know, I I, I am not so sure about playing it by itself. You know, uh, you know, I I, I think it's, it's too free perhaps to, for it to hold together. You know, like that. I and mean, it does refer to some of the elements in the piece, but but uh, I think it's a very effective, very effective uh, cadenza, very memorable. But. Um, but I think as opposed to those, I, I, I don't see it as a solo piece. Having played with many uh, important orchestras and uh, in different settings around the world, uh, how do you see the, the fact that people tend to limit them to a few pieces for guitar and orchestra? How does it influence the way people develop as guitarists and uh, the image of the guitar within the classical music world? Yeah, well, you know, it's, I think it's, it's not easy for, for a piece of music, a concerto, to enter the the orchestral repertoire, I mean, no matter what the instrument is, even for piano, I mean. Um, so, um, I mean, it, it would be a fight and, and, a, and a piece would, would have to prove itself to really, you know, to, to, to become part of the standard repertoire. The, the one piece that obviously has done it has been the Rodrigo, the Concierto de Juan, and, you know, and that speaks about the, the, it's a piece of great effect and popularity, and, and there's also this connection with, with Spanish music and, and, and the guitar. The guitar in the 20th century seems to have gone through the intuitive phase where you had some larger than life personalities like, you know, like Andres Segovia, and then we had the academic phase, so to speak, when the guitar came into conservatories, universities around the world, which is probably what happened when you and me were growing up. How do you see the guitar for younger people who are learning today and uh, uh, aspire to become uh, international concert performers? Uh, how do you see the scenario for them? I don't know what it's going to be like, but I think I think it is because uh, the world is changing so rapidly, and and the the world of music is changing so rapidly 
that I find it impossible to predict. So it, it's a little bit difficult, for, you know, to, 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 to guide them in a way. Um, so, I mean, you know, uh, I think it remains, it remains to be seen. You know, there's also, there's so many changes because, you know, now, for example, one thing that has affected the, 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 uh, the, the business, I mean, the, the world of music is how recording companies are disappearing. You know, I mean, basically the big ones are disappearing. And they, they were the ones that created, you know, the stars. In the, in, so that now, who's going to do that in the future? And on the other hand, you know, now anybody can make a recording. So that's a good thing also, you know. But again, you know, I mean, I'm uh, not exactly sure where it's going. But my sense is that more people will benefit from this situation than people that might possibly get hurt from it. I think there are going to be more opportunities for people. Mm -hmm.